Kyle Oglesby and I run Daddy Sam's All Natural Sauces and Dry Rubs. Well, so my dad always made barbecue sauce for us. Uh, my family is from Texas. We always ate like Texans, and when my sister and I had a hard time finding a barbecue sauce that we thought was normal, <laughs> we decided to kind of bottle up the family recipe and let other people eat like Texans too. I think it's fantastic, and we just wanted to share it with everybody. So we're in about 500 stores across the country, but here in the Twin Cities you can find Daddy Sam's at Lunds and Barley's, Kowalski's, some of the high vs and almost all the co-ops throughout the Twin Cities. I would say the vision for Daddy Sam's is to become a nationally distributed brand. What I really like is complementing people's meals, and so that's kind of what Daddy Sam's is about right now, our sauces. I've got some ideas for some marinades. We're expanding with our dry rubs, and I think it's going to be fantastic, and I'm overjoyed. I decided to take Daddy Sam's over in 2016. My dad had retired, and um, my sister had died unexpectedly, and I just didn't really want her death to also mean the death of, of Daddy Sam's. My biggest obstacle has been trying to do everything. I'm definitely one person right now, but really hoping to change that, because I know Daddy Sam's will run much better if I have some, some help around me. My ability to completely meet demand has been challenging during pandemic times. The supply chain interruptions have been all over the place, and so it used to take maybe about six weeks to get glass jars, and right now I'm looking at a 25-week wait for glass jars. Sometimes, you know, we haven't been able to meet all of our orders and to have people just call me and say, like, I just really hope you're not going out of business, and I'm saying, nope, we're not going out of business, we're just back ordered. It'll be there soon. If I hadn't gone to Women Venture, I, I genuinely don't know if Daddy Sam's would still be around. I might have decided to, to pack it in. I just felt sometimes, you know, like I was the only person going through this, and then I would go to my Women Venture class and be like, nope, everybody else is like going through these struggles too. The financial work that we did was so valuable to me. I learned how to do a cash flow analysis, making decisions with the backing of my own financial reports has been a very big deal to me. It's so hard running a business because you don't have a yin to your yang or you know somebody to bounce ideas off of. Knowing that I had a support system and knowing that I had some people to be accountable to was just massive. I mean, a real lifeline for me. I think that the adrenaline rush that I used to get from kind of doing everything by myself was kind of great, but it definitely hindered the growth of Daddy Sam's that I didn't reach out to find out what other resources were out there. I definitely would have reached out to Women Venture sooner if I had to do it all over again. I just have such appreciation and love for our fans because they have been stunning. Sometimes when I get low, I just really think about our fans and some of the kind things that they've said to me. Most of the people are just so affirmative in their love for Daddy Sam's and it really never gets old hearing how much people love Daddy Sam's. It's one of the huge perks of the job. The great thing about Daddy Sam's is I, I genuinely love it. I mean, every time I eat something with Daddy Sam's on it, I am reminded about how much I really do love our sauce. One of the things that I think makes food amazing is the company you keep when you share it. At Daddy Sam's, we're really trying to cultivate an idea or an aura of make sure you share food with good friends and good family and it will just taste even better. 